And here's me. 40 weeks and five days pregnant. And I'm getting tired. And I'm ready to meet this baby. So, what day will he be born? Will it be today? Will it be tomorrow? Will it be next week? We're having a baby. I'll explain. <clears throat> That's my wife. Hi, so last night around 2 o'clock in the morning, Kevin was sleeping and my water broke a little bit. So, um, I waited up until this point. It's 11.30. No real contractions have started yet. But I do feel like tightening, but nothing that's painful. So, we, I called the doctor right after my water broke, and she said to like come in in the morning, but I'm gonna wait it out a little bit, get some food, get some coffee, and then see how I'm feeling, and then head over to the hospital probably. I'm feeling not too much going on as far as like more water coming out so it must have been a very small tear. How are you feeling Kevin? I'm hungry. <laughs> are you? We're both um, feel like this is a surreal moment and it doesn't really even seem that real. So, well, I guess that's what surreal means. What are you doing? I thought you were in labor. That's right. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Here we are. We just went to Press Cafe, and I got a chicken Caesar wrap, except for I didn't get chicken in it. And anyways, <laughs> that's a Caesar wrap, Colleen. <laughs> a chicken Caesar wrap without chicken is a Caesar wrap. Okay. How? Now answer me. How far along are your contractions? Well, first of all, I am having contractions, and I don't know how far apart they are. I'd say five minutes, and they last maybe. A minute. Why you check? <laughs> and I don't know. It's hard to say because, like, I've never had contractions on my own before. When when I had Jack, I was on pitocin, and it was just a whirlwind of pain. So this is like new for me. This slow and steady contractions, and that's what's happening. And I'm happy about that. You were supposed to go. There. Actually, you can go this no, way. Or you can go this way. That way. So we're heading to the hospital. I just called the doctor because I was going to see if he like wanted me to come in. Um, but since my water broke and I'm having Colleen, contractions. Your water broke like. Probably you should probably. Tw it's been 12 hours. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We had to go get lunch in Starbucks. We had to go to two Starbucks. You're in labor. What are you doing? So I'm procrastinating a little bit, but I know that it's fine to like wait a little bit before you go in. So I'm drinking my coffee. You're so stubborn. And uh, we're gonna head in. Everything's gonna be fine. Oh, emergency. Masking and screening. Required. You gotta screen me. Wait, what do you mean screening? How am I feeling? I'm feeling pretty good right now. A little nervous that we're gonna get to the hospital and then they're gonna tell me like my water didn't break and I'm not having contractions. Even though it did and I am. I just feel nervous about that. That's why I've been procrastinating so much because I feel like they're just gonna be like, you need to go home. Even though I'm 41 weeks and one day pregnant and- And then they're gonna send you home. <laughs> I think I just want to get birth completely irrational. You're completely irrational. No, like, go that's home. what it feels like. That's why I'm procrastinating to, to tell you the truth. A higher risk situation and make. Go to a parking garage. It's very simple. You you go up the ramp, or you go up this ramp, and you take a left and a left and a right, and you're out. And he couldn't get out of the garage.
So I'm here. My water did break. They checked me and they said it was positive. So I'm staying. I am having contractions. Um, oh, you gotta do that. But they don't hurt. So I need to decide if I want to go in with those in, but I haven't talked to the doctor yet. So they're gonna come check me for dilation and then see what the next step is from there. Um, my cousin's wife is my nurse. Isn't that crazy? That is a little, a little weird. So, they're in the room. In this little room. There's a little spot for him. We're watching Thor. Uh, they didn't give us a remote. Really? Oh, it's right here. Oh, they did give us a remote. You're telling me to go find the remote. <laughs> I'm ready to watch. I'm here. <laughs> uh, I'm recording. I know. I just got nervous. I'm ready to push soon. Um, I, I was eight centimeters last time we checked. Yeah, it wasn't too long ago. And it's just been a long road leading up to this point. So, it's overwhelming. But, I'm really excited. <laughs> it's gonna be great. I got the epidural. <laughs> because I was having horrible contractions <laughs> and after like an hour it kicked in so now it's October 18th 2021 and it's 8-10 in the morning mm. every clock in this room is different We'll see you soon. Okay. So I went and got coffee. She's gonna have a baby any minute. Floor two. Forty-one ninety-five. Nine four. Nine four. Oh, <laughs> Pretty good weight there. You nearly a ten pound baby. Forty-one ninety-five. And here I am. The last time I talked to you guys, I was about to push. I pushed him out. He weighs nine pounds, four ounces. It was, I pushed for about 25 minutes and it was really, really crazy, but we did it. And he's here. Here he is. Nicholas Phoenix. Going home today. Leaving finally. I'm sorry. Time to go. He's gonna cut this one off as well. So he should still have the one on his wrist. Okay. Um, I can give you that one. Okay. And then this one. I can this is it. I'll bring him home. You ready? I put you in there. First time in his car seat. He's trying to go home too. He's had quite the few days. I think he goes home today. Is it your brother? You have a little brother now. It's is that cool? Can you believe that? <laughs> he looks like you. Yeah. Doesn't he? A little bit. <laughs> we'll bring him inside? <laughs>